Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on this, which is the Garmin Instinct. Had this now six months, uh, actually more than six months, so it's about time I review it. First impressions, it is a great smart wearable device. Let's talk about it. So let's have a look at the device itself. It is a wearable device. It's meant to be a watch and um, you know a smart device as they would call it. Really, really nice looking watch. Three buttons there on that side, two on here, and these are your main GPS buttons here. That is Garmin's famous heart rate sensor. And this is the multifunction port there that you use to charge it and sync it. I've been wearing this now every day for six months, actually longer than six months. But yeah, it's a really, really nice watch. Really pliable, comfy silicone strap. Plenty of adjustment there. And also there's a little bit of give there. So if you're at the gym and you're doing press ups and other kind of crazy stuff, um, this is going to be uh, comfortable on your wrist. It's waterproof, so you can take this swimming. Now, there are a few little quick access buttons here that you can use um, right out of the box when you get it. So the bottom one here, if you press and hold it, it uses the satellite, but it'll actually set the device's time. It will sync the time now wherever you are in the world. So it's really nice and easy feature, much faster than uh, my Casio. There you go, it's synced, sync the time, and uh, now that's precise. Now the top button up here uh, says GPS there. It's a really nice finish. When you press and hold this, this will give you a GPS waypoint or locks your GPS. So that's really important if you're on walking somewhere, you're out on the trail, even if, and this is a great use for this, it's a nice little hack. Even if you've parked your car at a festival or in a big car park, it's worthwhile just pressing the button just to give you a GPS position because you can always use this to track back to your location. Press this, this is your activities button. So you walk and you can see there is illumination. You've got run uh, track, which is really useful when you're uh, out in the wild. Tactical, um, now this setting is very customizable, but what I use this for is when I'm doing um, airsoft. Um, I do think this is probably the most awesome tool you could probably have for airsoft. So I'll get back into that later. And I also think this would be very good for law enforcement and military. Um, I think it's a very powerful tool as a watch with all the extra features it's got. Now, um, some of the other features, if you press and hold this top button, it's like a quick access menu. You can turn off the device, you can sync it. Now, I, I quite like this because it's got the moon phase which is very good for law enforcement, military, and airsoft boys and girls. It will tell you how much light the moon is going to produce and at what times it's going to be the brightest. So that's really cool. It's a great feature. Uh, you have the same, uh, you've got timers, stopwatch. You can adjust all this, sunrise, same sort of thing. And you can also forecast it. It really shows you nicely in there. What's a nice feature. I really appreciate that on the watch. It does have a flashlight mode. I'll turn that on and it just puts the screen on bright. And I'll be honest, if you're in a pinch in a dark room and you need to see where you're going, you can actually see by this. But you know what? If you've got nothing, you've got this. So uh, you can lock all the keys out. There are There is another button you can press and hold those two there, these top and bottom ones, and that locks it. Uh, the backlight there, I've got it on 10%. You can actually make it lower, um, which I think is actually probably just about compatible with night vision there. Um, it's very low, you can barely see it. And obviously you can ramp it right up if you want to, to make it crazy. Just like that. Um, what else have we got? And anyway, like I said guys, you can add to this menu, take away from this menu. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Now, generally day to day, you can, like I said, you can add to everything you see and do. So you press the menu button and that activates the uh, wrist setting, it'll do your heart rate, and it monitors that all the time. What I'm actually doing at the moment is just checking on this um, to see what the battery life changes with it off. Um, menu there for heart rate and stress, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is sort of tells you your last uh, sporting activity. Uh, this is the steps. I've actually not worn this watch today, so there's very, very, very few steps. I find it very accurate. 
and you can go back in time and just look what you, what your sort of steps have been doing. Um, let's have a little bit more, how many miles that is, etc. So also has a thermometer as well. Um, obviously it needs to be away from your body and it needs to sort of absorb the atmosphere to be more accurate. And that's all I've got um, saved on mine. But if we press and hold, um, so we obviously can turn it on the heart rate and stuff like that. And they call this screen widget so we can add. You can pair it with your smartphone and get smart notifications. You can't reply, but you can um, answer and decline calls on it. So that's really useful in meetings. Your last run. I'll explain the ABC shortly, but you can have standalone compass, the calories you burn the day, how high you are up. Um, that is actually to do with a hunting uh, application that Garmin sell. You can control the music on your do smart device as well. So if you've got your phone or whatever you've got in your bag, and then you've got a pair of wireless headphones and you think, actually, I don't want to get it out of the bag because it's raining. You can do it off of this device. That's so awesome. Sunrise and sunset, but I've got mine up here. Moon phase, same thing. Barometer, your calendar. And this will sync any alerts as well. So you'll get alerts on here. Uh, the weather one's really cool. Um, you sync it to your phone and then basically it gives you weatherly updates, which is pretty cool. Um, Garmin's got another feature for dogs, as is InReach. Um, I think they're very similar, but don't quote me on those two. Um, your intensity minutes, so when you've been to the gym, walking, anything like that comes up on here. Any alternative time zones, I must admit, when I travel, I just press the set button and then I don't have to worry about time zone because it's synced. So that's my hack for international travel. And my day is kind of a scrum down of your activities, the calories, steps, all those kind of things all rolled into one. And we'll just add that. So it sort of shows you how many calories we've burnt, uh, resting calories and active calories mixed, how many steps. You can remove it and it's gone. Simple as that. So ABC functions here. Press and hold this button here. It gives you the barometer. Click on that. You can calibrate it. You can calibrate directly off of GPS. Or if you do know your elevation, you can just simply enter it. So that's that there. What's the next one on here? So you've got um, traditional compass, three axis compass. So that means it will work on X, Y, and Z on Zulu. So that's more accurate. So when it's on your wrist and you're sort of like this and it's there, you know, you're going to get an accurate fix. With a traditional compass, you need to be flat, as you know. This is an ABC screen. The arrow actually is for the pressure your uh, compass, height, all in one. That's our elevation, simple as, shows you over, over a set period of time. You can calibrate it. When you do a sync, whether it's GPS or otherwise, it will sync the other features just to be a bit more accurate. Interesting other features when we do some navigation. So you can load courses, uh, activities, where you've been and stuff, save locations. Uh, right, MOB is man overboard function, so basically it will save your GPS location really quickly and then it allows you to track where the person went overboard. So it's a really good feature, really nice. I mean, this it, this is a waterproof kind of go everywhere, roughy tufty device. Awesome feature, sight and go. So literally, you select it and you know it's in that direction there. You literally press that button and there you go. You can navigate on a straight line to that landmark, that feature in front. You have to make sure you press go. It tells you if you're on course, off course, and obviously it will track you while you're going. Um, obviously you can enter coordinates depending on what you've got. Now we're using an ordnance survey. You literally type it in, press enter, press go. They are um, displayed. So if you've got a six figure grid or whatever you want to use, um, this has got so many different um, settings for that. Um, it's pretty awesome. Walk in a little bit like the other settings. You press go. You can change all these kind of things. Um, again, you've got a map there, barometer. I find that useful. What, what Garmin have actually branded this for is uh, an outdoor watch. The way I see it is I, I think this is a really robust G-Shock with navigation, GPS, 
um, your full ABC functions, smartphone, wearable, notifications. It, it does so much and I think it's really, really, really good value. I think it's excellent quality. You can change these straps out here. There's some small pins just there you can see, um, just there. Um, you can change all these to your heart's content. You can change it all. Um, you've got white settings as well. So it's kind of cool. It's um, a nice watch. I really appreciate it. So what are my closing thoughts about this uh, watch? Well, firstly, it is a superb device. I found it to be uh, really, really practical. Um, just as a watch, it's really good. What would be the best end users? I'd definitely say law enforcement, military, outdoor enthusiast, 100%. It's a really rugged watch. Definitely like a G-Shock um, with way more features. When I actually was looking to purchase this, I was actually looking at the Casio Rangeman, but the price of that compared to this and what this offers and the features this out, out does it. I think this is a better buy. Um, I told you a couple of hacks there with the GPS uh, sync time there. That's really useful when I'm traveling and things like trying to find your car. So would I buy this again? Yes. There is one other contender that is very similar, which is called the Tactical. Now, from what I understand, they look very similar. There's a slight color change. Um, they've added a couple of colours that are different. I think they've gone for a full stealth black and I think they've got a khaki colour, which is a tanny kind of colour, which is cool. The Tactical has a different graphical interface, interface like I've mentioned at the top. I like that, but and it's also got Jump Master, but because I've got a 601, I've got Jump Master if I so wish to do a parachute jump. So I've got one of those and I think that's much more powerful for that. So in my opinion, I don't think... I would change this for a tactical um, unless it's going to be doing a lot more features that um, are worth the price increase if that makes sense so uh, for me I think the instinct really is probably one of the best um, outdoor tactical kind of watches out there on the market I really enjoy it I found it really good I found the battery life really good it's really easy to use once you get used to it you can be away really quick I really recommend it Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for you guys who watched to the end. I know it's a long video. Um, I do want to sort of talk about more of the features. I could talk probably for two hours on this watch easily. I think it's important to highlight the specs. Otherwise, how are you going to make an informed purchase like I've done? Um, and it's, it just takes all the risk out of it for you. So, guys, take care and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>